Well, good afternoon, guys. It is not a beautiful day here in the south. Um, we've had some rain come through, but it is much needed rain. Um, and I wanted to bring y'all along for a little project that we're going to be doing. I wanted, I'll give y'all an update on our babies. Um, so those are the chicks that we hatched out, and I've kept them in the garage. But um, they're really starting to stink. So even though it's wet and nasty outside, I think I'm fixing to walk out and kind of look at what I need to do as far as we got some chicken, some chicken coops that we found. Ooh, it's kind of cool out here. Um, for a still of a deal. So they're around back, and I'm just gonna go look and see. I'm not sure with the temperature that I'm, I, I may not need to bring them out. I might just have to change the bed and then keep them in the garage. But um, so we found these chicken coops really for like a still of a deal. Um, so we got them and we brought them home, and we will eventually make these chicken tractors. But for right now. Um, I'm going to flip this camera around to show y'all what we're thinking about doing. So there's one of the chicken houses that we found We found for a still of a deal. And here is our other one down there. Now that one down there is we're going to put our meat chickens in that we're about to get. So we're super excited about that. We will drag that um, all over the property uh, every day for our meat chickens. Uh, but to be honest with you, I think it's a little too cool and they're a little too small. So we're not going to go there yet. Um, let's just go get this cleaned out. Okay, so for anybody that has chickens, y'all know that it does not take them very long to get stinky. So since they're in our garage, um, and we're not going to be able to take them out yet because the temperature has dropped tremendously, um, what I'm going to do is just get their container and clean it out, put them back in the garage. I have to do this every few days, which is why I was hoping that I could move them out and just add either pine straw or pine shavings today. It's going to be hay because that's all I have. And um, so that's what I'm going to do right now um, because my garage is really starting to stink. And I'm sure y'all can hear them. They um, have not been fed today, so they're really, really hungry. Um, but before I feed them, I'm going to go ahead and clean out their container. And what I have gotten is basically a five-gallon bucket. And um, yes, I do have queen excluders on top of my container, and that's because they have learned how to jump out. So for right now, I'm just going to take them and put them down in this five-gallon bucket and just put a top on it because it only takes me about five or ten minutes to clean out their container and get their fresh bedding in and everything in. Um, so they're okay in here for just those few minutes. garden. I have a flower bed out front, um, just a regular flower bed. We're, we're really far away from the um, compost and that kind of stuff. So instead of carrying all this over there, what I've been doing is just putting my compost, the chicken manure and stuff with the hay and all over in my flower bed. Um, so that's just what I've been doing for right now. Take it. 
shower or not? Aiden's covered in mud. He wants to know if he should take a shower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so if you'll notice, I grabbed a roll of napkins and some apple cider vinegar with the mother. And so what I'm going to do now is before I put them back in this container, I want to have it as dry as possible um, because wet chickens just don't ever make for um, good. So it's usually uh, just not good for your chicken. So what I'm going to do is um, just try to clean this out as much as I can not dry it. so much better so if I don't do this every few days my garage starts smelling really really bad um, and right now this is just the only way that we have to set up when we hatch out our chickens we consider this our brood box for probably at least three or four weeks um, when they get big enough where I feel comfortable putting them outside that's when we take them outside so now I'm just filling up their water And I'm going to put this apple cider vinegar a little bit in their water. It helps keep the water clean. Um, and it is also extremely healthy for your chickens. Harley, it's raining, baby. I really wish y'all would get inside. It's not raining. And now we're just going to take this back in the garage. I've got my um, clean container down in there with some hay. Uh, always make sure you keep your hay away from the heat lamp um, because that can be uh, a very bad situation if your hay gets too close to your heat lamp. Um, so I've got clean hay down in there, a clean bottom, and my apple cider vinegar water cleaned and put back in there as well. So now what I want to do is start putting my checks back in and these are actually our queen excluders for our bees um, and if you don't know anything about bees uh, there's a level that you don't want your queen to get higher than and she can't she's so big she can't get through these little holes um, but we have to have a way to keep our chickens in so this is the way that I've, I've done before in the past I like to put this queen excluder on top so that my chicks can't jump out and now we have our fresh box, it smells good, nice clean water, and we're just gonna get them put back in and get them fed. I thought you said you weren't gonna feed them. So that is the way we, um, after our chickens hatch, they're done in the incubator. I bring their brood box out in the garage, give them a heat lamp. Um, they will stay in here about three to four weeks when I feel like they're big enough to um, go out into the elements. That's when I'm going to kind of transfer them out. They're about three weeks now um, and they're still pretty small. And I think that would be okay in those new chicken um, coops that we have. But like I told you earlier, the temperature, I'm a little concerned about the um, temperature. So that's why I decided to go ahead and keep them in. So I'll probably keep them in. And it's nasty and wet and rainy. 
So I'm probably just going to go ahead and keep them in for maybe another week or two. Watch the weather when I think that they're ready to go out. Um, that's when we'll go ahead and move them out. But right now, we do this every few days. Um, but it keeps my garage clean. Hey, I'm giving nutrients to the flower beds over here. And um, that way I know they're safe and they're protected. And um, it, it, like I said, it's something I only have to do about every three or four days. It does get to stinking by that, those last few days. But, I mean, you know, it's part of being on the farm. It's part of the sacrifices that we make to be able to have chickens. Um, our garage is not extremely neat and tidy. As you can see, we this way, we have bags of feed um, that are always in the garage. Uh, if it's not the chickens, it's the dog or the cat in the garage. And, you know, that's just the... The nature of the beast um, but we are very thankful to be able to have our farm have our homestead and do what we do and as we're trying to be more self-sufficient um, it's just a blessing to be able to do this so happy homesteading y'all